Hi there, so this is Miriam Ambadie. I'm um, from the Communications Department of the Barcelona Academy of Arts. Uh, welcome to our new series, uh, Get to Know the BAA Teachers, and uh, in which we will be interviewing our teachers to get to know them. Uh, and today we are joined by Yegor Zviazda. So Yegor is a, is a sculptor and also a regular instructor at the BAA in the sculpture program uh, since last year or 2018, I think. Uh, and he has also teach many workshops in the academy throughout the, the years. So first of all, thank you very much, Yegor, for joining us today. A and, pleasure, as always. <laughs> and I think I will just do a very short introduction for the people that don't, that don't know you. So you, you were born in, in Poland and you have uh, an academic background, academic training uh, at the fine art schools in Poznan and, and Warsaw, in your home country. And also in Italy at the Academia di Belle Arte di Brera in Milan. Um, you obtained your, your doctorate in the Academy of Fine Arts in Warsaw and also uh, your postdoctorate in Krakow. And, and your work has been exhibited uh, in solo and group exhibitions around Europe and, and in galleries and museums such as the, the MEAM in, in Barcelona, uh, which did your, your first retrospective uh, back, in, back in 2018. So, yeah, thank you. And uh, first of all, just the first question is where where are you spending your time in in confinement well it's uh, all the situation was very surprising and i had to move back to to poland to i uh, normally i live in warsaw but these hard times i'm spending in the countryside in uh, in northeast of poland in the family house with my parents and my fiance and uh, so you 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 can work there. No, you have your your own little. Mm. Uh, as we can see, <laughs> you have your own little studio. That's yes, right. yes. It's uh, this is my uh, first studio where I did a lot of uh, old uh, sculptures from the beginning of my career. Oh. So I I feel very a lot of attachment to this place, and it's also a very beautiful. Uh, area here the countryside so i'm always happy to to be here and wherever i'm i'm spending time with my family i'm i'm working in this in this place mm -hmm. so yeah that leads to my question like how how did you get into art and and how did you first start uh in in sculpture well the uh, i guess it was pretty typical in the beginning I wanted to be a painter, as, as most of the people that starts their career with uh, with with art. But then, in some, and I started the uh, high school uh, uh, art high school. My my education when I was just fifteen. I moved out from my family house and I moved to the uh, city that is close next to uh, to my village. And. There I started the education with ceramics, uh, painting, drawing, uh, all sorts of arts, and it, it was it was a high school with with general arts. So uh, during the education in in this school, I recognized that uh, sculpture is something much more natural for me. Uh, in painting, I was grabbing some solutions that I could uh, see from my friends. Yeah. Or for other artists and not uh, apply to my work and I realized that in sculpture I create my own solutions so I thought hey why not be in, uh, creating my own uh, way and, and follow it this this looks like fun and from this moment where I was uh, 18 19 I was sure that I want to be a sculptor mm -hmm. and this determined my my uh, path of education that I took. So from that moment, I never had a doubt that I, I want to be a sculptor. <laughs> so I chose the, uh, the universities uh, in, in direction of, of, of sculpture. And I, I was traveling a little bit to and changing the, the universities because I was very curious of the techniques of uh, 
of teaching, techniques of work. Uh, I wanted to grab as much as possible to be as good as possible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, in the beginning, you don't you don't realize so much what is art about. It's it's more. Um, when I was 15 and I started my high school, I I wanted to be able to make a beautiful drawing of the face of of. Mm -hmm. Uh, of uh, the painting of, of a landscape of the flowers and in the beginning it, it wasn't clear for me that art is something much more complex. I, I Since we were talking about this I, I also wanted to ask you personally like what's your creative process like we would say does it um, come from from an image you see or or I don't know, something you, you read about or an obsession that you have now about the concept. How do you start? What's your start point for a new sculpture? Well, it's, it's always a little bit different. Um, sometimes it's just a little motif, uh, gesture, uh, or general concept or philosophy, or it's, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, because I'm, I'm stimulated by many things. And uh, also I, I believe that uh, I'm interested in the way of creation that uh, demand, demands finding a new path always. always. So this, this means that uh, I'm exploring one problem until I'm able to solve it, mm -hmm. and then I, I'm interested in different one. I mean, uh, that's why I, I always feel a little bit lost when I'm starting a, a, a piece, and it's very frustrating for me to find a solution in in building a sculpture, because uh, I don't like to repeat uh, so much the the I one day idea that I already explored. I mean, I sometimes I like to touch the same topic and and build the different compositions about one subject, but uh, usually I I prefer to and yes, but but it has to be uh, like a different to, to reveal a different perspective on one problem. I don't know if I don't know if it's a satisfying answer for you, but no, yeah, 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 because you, it you is, work in in series. Sometimes you work in series. Yeah, so that it's yeah. find different solutions to or different perspectives. If I if I feel like I didn't find the didn't express myself in the perfect way, I I try other solutions in in showing the same problem. So. But many, it's all, many times happens that I rebuild one sculpture after the time. For instance, this, this happened with my Keretic. Okay. Uh, it started as a one figure, but then I added a, a hat, and then I removed the hat, and I multiplied the figure. And now I have also one other idea about this sculpture. I want to change it. In, in and 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 rebuild it in a little bit different way, so yeah. Mm. But obviously, I'm I'm inspired with uh, with many with many things with with movies with books. Uh, it's hard to describe for me because I'm I'm not using one method for building the sculpture. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for example, I'm not taking the model, putting in the specific pose, and and. Uh, when I find the pose, I'm, I'm building it. I, I do the opposite. I, sometimes I use the model as just a support for my idea that I preconcept that I had before. So many times I'm not using the model at all. And uh, just sometimes using some photos or whatever. Because for me, the goal is not to make a sculpture of, of a uh, repeat the shape of the model, but to express something, I it's it's on my mind. Mm -hmm. So I believe for this we need to find a different uh, different solution because uh, obviously art and sc uh, sculpture is 
not talk, speaking with the language of, of nature. Uh, sculpture is something else than, than nature and demands a different solutions. I mean, it's impossible. I, I know that for figurative sculpt, sculpture, it, it's, it sounds like a paradox, mm -hmm. but I believe that the, the biggest, uh, uh, yeah, the, the problem of sculpture is that it's so uh, similar to reality, no? to, 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 to life, because it's three dimensional. We can touch it, we can go around, but, uh, but sculpture is not moving. It doesn't have mimics, no? face expression, body expression. So we have we when we have just one gesture or one composition, one figure, it has to. Mm, we need to sublimate this lack of other. Uh, I would say effects or or movement by uh, using material, gesture, composition. This all, all has a has a meaning, and we have to count it, take it into account when we when. I take it into account when I build a sculpture mm -hmm. that it has to it has to be complex. It has to be uh, reveal some kind of truth uh, in very different way than than nature, because because I'm not building the nature. Clay is not muscle. Mm -hmm. And um, in 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 that sense, uh, well, you you said what you do in your own work, but as a as a teacher of many years now, uh, what's the, I know it's a difficult question, but what's the, the, the main advice or the first advice that you, you give to your students that, you know, uh, that enter your room or enter the room? <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's, it's very hard to say right now what is, because, uh, because, uh, 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 being a teacher is not uh, working in factor. It's, it's not like working in factor no, no. when we have to repeat one gesture and and produce uh, the effect that we expect. Mm -hmm. uh, when uh, I'm I'm trying to do the same what uh, what I experience as a, as a student because I had fantastic professors and uh, all always their attitude was very personalized because we are all different. No? So what works for one person doesn't work for the other because uh, we are different and it's beautiful because the world doesn't need uh, any uh, other uh, Jeff Koons or, or uh, Rodin or Gwiazda or whoever. No? Mm -hmm. uh, the world needs a uh, new uh, fresh uh, experience of the world and suggestive vision mm -hmm. and that's what we what we do when we teach we we are meeting one person who is more uh, uh, it, let's say um, synthetic in her in, in the in the, the attitude and in the way uh, the person see so we are trying to develop it and, and we try to f find the, the, the force, the energy in, in the simplicity and the, the clarity of, of the light, let's say. Or we find somebody that is much more expressive. So we, then we have, we, we're trying to find the, the, uh, some kind of organization for this expression to increase the effect for, for that. Right, so so the first maybe the first uh, 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 advice I would I would give would be a, re a repetition from the old temp Greek temple. Uh, know yourself. Know yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yes. I, yeah. But but it's it's very hard to say. Let like, we start with this. Like I don't know. We be this or be that. No. Like this is your attitude. Obviously, uh, we are quite similar uh, as a as a human beings, no? and we have common many things in common. Mm -hmm. That's why we are able to communicate, to talk it, with each other, and that's why most of pieces of art affects us in a similar way, mm -hmm. but not all. And this little uh, uh, little uh, sp uh, space of uh, difference is is the value that should be uh, highlighted. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. by, but obviously it has to be highlighted by by the things that are are in common, no? <laughs> by by technique, by knowledge, by uh, being cultivated, by knowing, uh, being established inside our culture, knowing the culture and taking advantage of it by with to to build uh, something new. And um, as a as an artist, I mean, you you've told me this a bit before, but uh, I wanted to know what are things that you did when you first started, maybe uh, that you don't do now or do differently, or um, I mean, in in the creative aspect, aspect mm -hmm. I would say maybe mm -hmm. the technique or maybe mm -hmm. uh, in the, the evolution well, of your career. Yes, I mean, uh, it's, it's quite, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting question because uh, many times you wouldn't find the difference between, <laughs> for, uh, between uh, before and after. I mean, not because they are not different. Uh, but because uh, they are not not that different, <laughs> the pieces that 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 I make that I make, uh, it's because uh, there are some. Uh, I believe that there are some solutions that ex already exist in our culture as a as a samples that we use from the museum of our memories. We are in love with some pieces of art even if we don't understand them fully, right? Like uh, we can be astonished with the magical flute of Mozart, not understanding what is it about. Yeah. The same happens in, uh, with, with, uh, with pieces of art, but they stuck in our mind. So we want to uh, apply it in, in our pieces, some this these solutions. It, 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 uh, we, take it even if we don't understand it fully. So, uh, and if, if someone is working hard and, and you know pieces of, of art, then, then it's obviously it's, it's applying this solution inside its work, even if, if the person doesn't understand. Okay. So I believe, uh, so I, is, is everything okay? You yes, yes, well? yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's one bird, it's one bird. There's one bird, uh, there's one bird. <laughs> <laughs> He really enjoys you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I'm having an interview here. So give some respect. <laughs> the birds, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care, yeah. So, yeah, so th this is the point. No? But if um, with this understanding we are able to, uh, I, I, I think I'm able to be more free with this creation. Because before I had to count on my, uh, intuition and and uh, and hard work, no? Because mm -hmm. I was more lost with with the with the process. Because I I didn't understood, I I didn't understand why something works, why why things works and why they don't. No? So I was checking, and I still do. I still I rebuild the sculpture many times until I find it finished or I, and, or I, until I accept the, the stage yeah. to be finished. But uh, before it was much longer process because of this reason, because, of, because I didn't understand why uh, this uh, organization, this constellation of forms works better than the other. Now I think I, I understand it a little bit more. A bit more. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So this, uh, this uh, I would say is a, um, a main main difference, but uh, sometimes the the final uh, re result is is um, might seem similar. Yes, to the not <laughs> the entry in eye, but it's yeah. the, the process is important, obviously. Hmm. Okay. Um, do you have, uh, maybe we, we go now, uh, so do you have any project that you're currently doing, I mean, during the quarantine or you were doing just right before and that you want to talk a bit? 
about. Yes, yes, I do. Of course, I do. Uh, we, Jordi Diaz Salama, we are we are running a project of of big project of Dante, that he is preparing a series of paintings from uh, from Divina Commedia, uh, by Dante Alighieri, and uh, I'm preparing the figure of of Dante that that will be. Um, will be surrounded by uh, Jordi's paintings. Mm -hmm. that I think it's, it, it's might be a very strong uh, exhibition of, of the works. I hope that and, uh, in the mo until the moment we finish, the situation of the, on the, in the world will be much more normal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we will be able to see it in the in the museums and galleries, not only online, but yeah, yeah, um, uh, coronavirus has stopped uh, the some of my of the projects I was running in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And I think I will have to finish one one more sculpture. I did already two two sculptures for this project in in Poland. That I when I just just when after I returned I was on quarantine. I have I <laughs> I was doing two two little sculptures in, in my home. So um, I, I enjoyed actually this this time yes. <laughs> this extra time that I that I got for work. And I think I will uh, I will have to finish one one more big sculpture here in in Poland. For this project, I'm very happy for this uh, for this one because of the uh, of the possibility to exhibit with with extremely talented and hardworking uh, Jordi <laughs> person. <laughs> yeah, that it's it's. Uh, I'm very curious what he managed to 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 paint uh, during these three months that I, I was absent in in his studio so yeah it's it's very i'm very uh, happy for for this uh, for 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 it i'm also having one idea for the exhibition on my mind but it will have to be postponed after the after the dante the dante thing mm -hmm. okay it will be more a thematic uh, exhibition Okay, you can but reveal no, it. No, no, no. This is like this is suspended. <laughs> yeah, let's leave it suspended. Maybe, maybe next year or in one and a half year when we repeat the interview, I, I will be able to say more. <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. Let's hope it's not in our houses and we can do more things. Yeah, and we can do it in and and with that. The next interview we can do in person, okay. not not with Zoom. Exactly, <laughs> and um, I don't know, like maybe as a final uh, final question, um, what what helped you uh, apart from from working in this quarantine? Uh, do you have any recommendations or things that you would like people to to listen to, to read about, to? <laughs> I know uh, you, you have many, <laughs> many usually I, I mean I, I I'm not the, I don't feel like a person that it's good to give advices or recommendations for for life because we we are all different obviously I have my favorite books or favorite movies and if you find it interesting I mean for, for me, one of the, the most important books that I read was uh, the, uh, his master voice of uh, Stanisław Lem. Okay. It's one one Polish uh, writer, but it's translated on to all languages. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh, well known, so it won't be difficult to find it in in Spanish or English. And it's a beautiful intense story or about a scientist a group of scientists in the desert okay. <laughs> <laughs> no crimes no uh, car races uh, no <laughs> just a group of scientists uh, um, making uh, and investigating uh, the the biggest mystery of the universe it's really beautiful and and it's so 
many important uh, uh, ideas uh, that that Lem applied to the to this book. I, I really love it. Maybe the the other of my favorite books is uh, uh, Doctor Faustus by Thomas Mann. That is <laughs> that is the the essence of of. Uh, where, where man was trying to investigate what is the, the essence of creativity and mm-hmm. and uh, what is the um, he tries to show how genius um, creation and and uh, all these all these problems connected with art but through the prism of music mm-hmm. uh, are, are, are coming so so I would recommend these two books obviously there are plenty of TV series and music and whatever but <laughs> maybe let's let's stop with with these two two books that's perfect that's perfect well thank you very much yours thank you thank you, thank you to you as always <laughs> thanks thanks a lot are we stopping the recording now yes yes